Hey guys, welcome back over here to Frisco. Andy here with Summit Sunrise. It is a gorgeous morning here over by Lake Dillon. And here in just the next hour or so, we'll be kicking off the Bacon Burner 5K and I've got Sarah here to tell us all about it. Now you have me at bacon already. It's breakfast time and I'm starving. Tell me what's going on with all this. <laughs> so this is the Bacon Burner 6K. We have bacon at an aid station and then bacon at the finish line. Uh, it's super fun. We're going to see lots of people in costumes rocking the bacon gear. Um, we have these really great uh, shirts with piggies running on it. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a little out and back course and they will turn around and run back to us, finish here at the marina. Like you said, it's a beautiful day out. And, and then if you're of age, you get a beer token to head down to barbecue. So you can go enjoy all the festivities down there on Main Street as well. Awesome. So this is a 5K race, right? Yeah. Um, tell me about where it, you know, it kicks off at and kind of the route. Sure. So we leave right here from the marina. It's on the rec path. Uh, and if you're familiar with the area, we run down to Lake Point Circle. You make a little lollipop loop and come back. It's, yeah, it's, and you get to high five everybody on your way back in and see your friends and family that are running with you. And you were mentioning earlier, you've got a lot of people already registered for this. We do. We have 450 r racers already. Uh, we have 50 spots left. So, you know, if you're watching at home, you can come down, run, walk, jog with us as well. It's not too late. And, you know, even if you're not a runner, if someone's waving a piece of bacon in front of your face, that's kind of an incentive, right? Totally an incentive. <laughs> you can even get the kids out to run when there's bacon involved. It's awesome. <laughs> now, should folks just come on down to the marina if they're interested in joining in or yeah. register online or anything? Yeah, so they can register in person here at the marina um, and just come see us over here at the blue tent and now I see you've even got like a podium over there for for we placing do. we do yeah <laughs> so we have three waves we have a competitive runner wave um, a jogging wave and so those first two categories will do first top three overall prizes and then um, in each age category the winner gets a prize as well well so and there's prizes aside from the bacon there too there are more <laughs> prizes it's great there's even M&Ms <laughs> and then our third our third category our third wave is um, just a family you can, you can walk it, you can jog it, you can bring your stroller and push the kids as well. Awesome. Well, we're just right over here by the lake hanging out. Um, as she mentioned, it's not too late, so come on down. It is absolutely gorgeous out. We're not expecting rain until much later in the day, so you're going to have great weather to go out on the run. Yeah, definitely. And then afterwards, it's great. You can just walk right over to Main Street, hang out, eat some barbecue, watch some bands. It's great. And that, that ends at 6 o'clock tonight. Okay, and then when does that actually all start up? So when folks are done with the race, they can kind of just go straight over there, right? Yeah, so we actually start at 10 a.m. this morning over on all, all the festivities on Main Street. And, um, yeah, that'll go till 6 p.m. And then, and then it's happy hour, so you can also hit up some of the great restaurants on Frisco Main Street. Yeah, I saw that you can even use your hogback tickets towards some of the restaurants after everything shuts down. Yeah, which is great. You can go stop by. So if you bought too many and you didn't quite use them all, you can still stop by all the local restaurants and use them there. And you guys, if you haven't been down to Main Street yet this week, get down there. I already got to taste test a little bit of the barbecue, and it is fantastic. It always is. There's so many new ones this year, too. Everything. It's always so good. I, I, I actually live in Frisco, and all I do is smell barbecue for the last two days. I'm like, it's great. <laughs> Come on down. Lots of good smells and tastes, and the sun shines out. We're having a beautiful morning over here. So come on down for a nice little jog, and then follow it up with a beer and some barbecue over on Main Street. Um, if folks want to check out the website for a schedule of events for the concerts and all that, where can they find more info? So all the info about the whole weekend is on the Town of Frisco website. You can find it there. Search Barbecue Challenge and yeah, find out what's going on down there. Awesome. Well, you guys will be hanging out here at the lake, so stay tuned for more. I'm Andy and I've got Jesse co-hosting with me, so we've got a lot more to come.